This month's extreme flooding left one person dead and parts of New York State in need of major reconstruction. The Federal Emergency Management Agency will use a program known as Public Assistance to provide New York with disaster relief. News Channel 34's Amel Taligi has more on that and what state leaders say needs to happen next. Public assistance is a reimbursement program that gives federal dollars to communities to recover from disasters. The following counties will be using the program to help with debris removal, repairs to buildings, infrastructure, and more. Senator James Scoopis' district occupies Hudson Valley, where much of the floods happened. He says the aftermath of the floods was so bad, some of his constituents had to stay in a homeless shelter. There was really incredibly large and devastating damage. For example, roads being washed away. The roads weren't just flooded. The roads no longer exist in some places places. They're gone. I mean, that's the level of destruction that we're talking about. Scoofus says the public assistance will significantly help with public spaces, but he's hoping the federal government will also help with individual assistance. He's urging homeowners impacted by the floods to report flood related damage on his website. And so for property owners, for those homeowners uh, to get assistance and, and funding to, to repair their homes, to get reimbursed for assets that have been lost, that has still not been declared. I, I'm hopeful that it will be. That information will be passed along to FEMA. We have to hit certain thresholds uh, in order for that individual assistance to get unlocked. That would be a game changer for residents and uh, and others in our communities who have sustained incredible damage. I'm told if individual assistance is declared, people can apply for that funding directly through FEMA. Senator Scoofus is hoping the federal government makes that decision within the next couple of weeks. Reporting in Albany, Amel Talegi.